This is Bruce Cook, Ontario Flag and Pole. Coming here today to show you what happens if one of the inner workings, the teeth, on these teeth should ever break. Because with their warranty, it's a life, limited lifetime warranty on the original owners. The aluminum will never rust, so that's pretty well guaranteed. So you be, this pole will last forever. So if the inner working is the lax sandwich is airplane window plastic, um, occasionally the teeth break. I mean, to be example, with mine in almost 10 years, I've broken only one. Many people have broken none. That being said, when the opportunity happens that one of the inner working breaks, this is what you got to do. So it's up here. We have the harnesses, of course, and the ball top and the inner working that's in there. At the other end, you will see when you open up your box, you'll also see a black plate and two screws. Okay, but we are gonna start at the top. Um, you can use a standard star head, but remember that these screws are aluminum, so you need to take your time, okay? No rush. I'm going to do it with a drill because I know how to take my time. Okay, once you get there, you will begin to loosen things up and leave the ball top in. I had a customer that didn't do that and he had trouble getting the inner working out, okay? Leave the ball top in, it makes life a lot easier, okay? So you just set those things aside, take the harnesses off, take this part off too, which is just held into place. Sometimes the plastic sticks a bit. So you can take that off as well. Take the harnesses off. Now that's step one. Step two, you ship to the bottom end. Same thing. Sometimes with a black plate getting out, just grab it with the pliers. Slip it like that. If it doesn't go out, then you just tap it from the other end. Take this section out. So this, of course is not broken, but this is what you have to take off, right? So, and you also have to take the other part, we'll do the top half first. This, you might need a second hand. So you push the buttons in. And now I need my trusty sidekick to pull the section out. Occasionally, the things can be a little bit on the stiff side. So you might have to warrant a little bit of uh, lubricant. Which pipes. It's like I said, beginning, everything's gonna drop out the bottom. So you'll always have to work from the bottom to get to the next section. Now we've taken apart the top half of the bottom section, and this is the bottom half of the bottom section. <laughs> that makes sense, right? So then it's just a matter of sometimes it can get pretty dirty, so it's okay to clean it up. Star head and flat head. Sometimes you need a little more torque, so we're going to do a little more torque because it's being a little stubborn. That's why I always say it's good to have a second person, second hand. top half, bottom half just fell out. So this is what you're dealing with on the inside of every section has two of these pieces. That's why you need a star head and a flat head. So same thing, you just probably go to the top and we'll do a pop out again. 
The only thing different about this one and your other sponge, which is the base sponge, is no hole. There's no second hole. This is just a sponge. So it just sits flush. There's no extra effort for you to do. So when you reinstall it, when the part is reinstalled and you push everything back in, it will be important to go through the hole in through the sponge and out the other side. So that's how it's gonna need to look. Beyond that, you are certainly can do some extra cleaning. This one has been, been used, as you can see. So it's a lot of black, which is also just from movement and with the, with the T6 airplane grade aluminum. So, so it's probably a good idea just to clean it up. Probably take it, you know, a little more WD-40. Just spray it on and give it a bit of a wipe wipe that is all you're doing right so you just move to the next section pull it out next section if you have to go to the top it's pretty rare to have the top section to ever have any issues because of the way the transfers the weight per section so basically this is what you need to do so now we'll just do the reverse and put it back together right just dealing with the bottom section so once again you get the idea of, of how that all plays out it doesn't line up so you kind of have to hold it play with it until it lines up into position again lay it back down once again we'll take our sponge line it up with the hole because otherwise that doesn't work take your bottom section again find the hole Make sure it's in position as much as possible, as you can see there. And then take your pin again, slide it in the hole. Take your screw, line it up. with the unit. Just make it snug. Okay, then you grab the other pipe, put the part back in. Important thing is make sure you do line it up. That's what you experienced it. It was a bit stiff. So make sure you line it up as best as possible, right? And then just sort of tap it into position, push the buttons in a bit, and usually it goes. Right, so the button's gotta be in position. So now we're gonna take the other pipe, put it back, through the base because everything that came out of the base needs to go back into the base. Once again, we got to fiddle with it a bit in order to make it get past in position. Lay it back down, find our trusty sponge. Once again, it has no holes, so it's just a matter of putting it in position. This one has little holes. So you line them up. Just tap it, grab your screws, grab your drill, take your time. Don't over torque, take your time. Now we shift back to where we were, where it all began. This is where it began. <laughs> Big harness first, but once again, it's okay to take the time. At this point, you might as well do some cleaning. Okay, make sure there's no rough edges. Sometimes the weather would be create some just junk on it. So just, just clean it up. So you put that one on first. Now you need to put the ring first line it up with the holes provided as you can see then 
that goes into place. And once again, with the ball still in there, a lot better to line it up. Once again, it's easy enough to put it in, line it up with the same holes. And that's it. So that's a wrap. So now you've taken your pole apart, you figured out how to get to the first section. You should do the same things for the next section. Put everything back with harness as they were. Use the ball top to take the cap out and you're all set. I hope you enjoyed our video.